Thank you very much. Uh, so my first question is, uh, can you confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yes, my name is Renuka Sharma and my date of birth is 8th September 1991. What course and modules you are going to study? I have applied for Masters in Business Administration and there are six core modules. And first one is Managing Strategies, Operation and Partnership. The second one is managing financial and human resource for sustainable business success. Third one is marketing in digital age and corporate social responsibilities. Fourth is business simulation with professional development. Fifth is mental wealth and applied research. And sixth one is applied business project. Why did you choose this course? I choose a master's in business administration because this course uh, uh, perfectly uh, uh, suit for my future career and I want to join my family business. That's why I applied for, I chose this course as this course will give me the overall knowledge of business. And it will help me in identifying in ev and evaluating ways to solve business problem and decision making ability. Also, after completion of this course, I will learn to research and analyze information in new ways that will add value to my business. How does this course relate to your previous study? Actually, I'm a commerce graduate. So in, uh, uh, I studied modules like business environment, business economics, and uh, cost uh, accounting, management accounting, financial accounting. Also, I studied uh, uh, principles, business principles, and marketing principles. So these, uh, these all modules are pretty much silver, uh, similar with the modules for masters in business administration. Also, also, uh, the master in business administration is not a subject. Uh, uh, subject uh, it will not only give the subject knowledge, but also it will give me the practical knowledge. Did you had a break between your studies? Actually, I have completed my graduation in two thousand seventeen. After that, uh, I have a three years job experience in a as a law, legal advisor with the uh, uh, Vijay Construction and the company. There my role was, uh, I, was dropped, uh, I was there, as I said that I was a legal advisor. So there I, uh, my job role was to draft uh, various agreement, managing secretarial as well as uh, I was there working as a manager too. So, so how does your work relate to your course? My work is related to my course as I am a commerce graduate, as I said, and uh, also a law graduate. And uh, in my three years of experience, I, I come across uh, the roles and responsibility of a manager and I perform the task. I also uh, work with various clients and uh, manages the business there. I learn from that managerial skills how long does your course last it is a one year full course how is, is your one year yeah thank you how is your course assessed my course uh, there, as i said there is a six core modules and each will be assessed separately uh, for each taught modules there are two assessments and in each term, there are four assessments. For Why? these taught modules, yes, sir. Yeah, thank and, you. Uh, and it is a mix of an examination, two group projects, and a one individual project. Thank you. Why do you want to study at this university? I want to study at the University of East London because uh, uh, it has one of the highest quality academic experience and rank 48 in world for uh, quality education. Also, it ranked in world top young 200 universities and first in UK for international uh, service and visa advice. Also, uh, the duration of my course is one year 
as I want to complete it as soon as is possible. Also, the, if I talk about the teaching staff, they are well qualified and are leading researchers in their field. And this uh, university has large number of international students, which will provide me the uh, multicultural environment there. And um, yeah. What university campus will you be studying at? Uh, I will be studying at the uh, university's Stratford campus. Did you research other universities? Yes, I researched Middlesex University and the uh, Metropolitan uh, University. But oh. I found the University of East London um, best because uh, uh, as my as they are uh, as I'm interested as this at University of East London providing me the best modules as they are in metropolitan in Middlesex there is no corporate social responsibility and business sim simulation and with uh, professional development they don't have um, uh, modules. How much is your course tuition fee? Uh, my course tuition fees is sixteen thousand five hundred pounds. Why do you wish to study in the UK rather than in your home country? Uh, in India, there are few institu uh, renowned institutions for MBA, uh, but uh, um, as India is a populated, com uh, has uh, pretty much uh, uh, populations there for population here, so. To, uh, to get uh, admission in uh, India as the process they followed is uh, quite lengthy. Also, there is a reservation quotas and a uh, uh, large number of applications. So it is pretty much difficult to secure a seat here. Uh, and if I compare the uh, top ranked university in India with the universities of UK, so there is a wide difference as, uh, as uh, in India, the, the education system is based on theories and but uh, in UK, uh, they, uh, they also provide you the practical knowledge of the subject. Also in UK, I can uh, I can work uh, and gain uh, um, gain a practical knowledge there with my studies. Also, the tuition fees are pretty much similar uh, uh, in India. And if I compare it with the Indian top ranked universities and UK's university, so if I am uh, I'm getting this chance uh, to study there, so that's why I chose this university. What are your post study plans? After completing my uh, master in business administration, uh, I will come back to India and I will join my family business. Where you will be staying in the UK? I, I have planned to take uh, universities on campus accommodation, also search for uh, other uh, student hostels accommodation there near Stratford, like, uh, like Flint uh, Rose and uh, Eleanor Rosa and uh, Poland House. So yeah, if, if I find anything, uh, if I find difficulty in, uh, in booking a uh, university's campus, then I will prefer these. But my first priority is university on campus. How, how far is the university from your intended accommodation? It is just a five uh, minute walking distance. So who is financing your study in the UK? My father and my husband is financing my study in the UK. What is the profession of your financial sponsors? Uh, um, uh, they have a tiles business in Delhi. So what's the proportion of their sponsorship? Is it 50-50 percent? Yeah, actually, both are financing. It's not a 50-50, I can say. But uh, if there is any requirement, then my father will also finance, can finance if there is any requirement. Otherwise, my husband is financing it. Would you be able to pay your tuition fee in one full amount? Yes, I'm able to full. I am able to pay full tuition fee in one. 
Do you know how much your accommodation will cost in the UK? Yes, I have researched and I find that uh, accommodation cost in London is uh, around 500 to 600 pounds. But according to uh, UK government, it is uh, 12, 1265 pound per month. That 12, 1265 is for the maintenance cost, actually. So that includes the accommodation plus your living expenses, your travel, your food as well. So accommodation is only around 500 to 600 pounds. Okay, sir. Do you know whether you are entitled to work in the UK during your studies? Yes, I know. Uh, I'm allowed to work 20 hours in a week. And on my vacations, I can work there for 40 hours in a week. So how reliant are you on being able to work when you are in the UK? Actually, my first priority is my studies. But if I find any time, then I'm, I will uh, definitely join any part-time job because, so that I will get the practical knowledge and experience. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all I have to ask from yourself. Is there any questions for me? No, sir. Thank you for giving your valuable time. Thank you very much. Uh, can you confirm your name and date of birth, please? My name is Nisar Majima and my date of birth is 2 of August 1997. What course and modules you are going to study? I'm going for BE Honours Business Management and for module that I have to study in my first year. These are six compulsory modules that I have to study. These are Finance and the Economy, Principles of Marketing, Principles of Strategy, LSBU Discovery Project, Data for Decision Making, Management and Organization. What's your favorite modules and why? To be honest, I found Management and Organizations. This, this module I personally like because management is the key of every business success. Because when you, after planning, you have to execute the plan and when you have a management team, that can work accordingly and in time way and management is the best way to be a successful business. So I have keen interest in management courses and management modules. So why did you choose this course? Well, I wanted to start my career in business field. And previously I have also studied administration, business administration courses already. So I wanted to gain a, I wanted to gain a deep knowledge of business world globally, that how a business world globally runs. And uh, it also gave me the professional, not only professional, but also gave me the personal skills. Like from in this course, I have to study from marketing to economics, finance to HR, all these range of business core principles that I have to study in this course. So that's why I have chosen this business management course. Did you had a break between your studies? Well, after my intermediate in 2016, uh, I had two years a gap where I have to uh, work experience of assistant accountant at Haji Beer Mumbai Poultry Farm. But after that, I have started my studies in graduation and after right now, I have no any gap in my studies. So is there any relationship between your work and this intended studies? Sorry? Did you had any sort of relevancy between your course and this uh, your experience? Yes, uh, I have studied work experience as assistant accountant where I have to deal with the financial matters of a business. Then this is uh, this work experience related to my business studies as uh, a business studies also uh, have uh, area of finances where you have to deal with the finance areas. So it, it is relevant to my studies. How long does your course last? 
it's a three years course starting in january 2022 to january 2025 three years how is your course assessed well my course during my studies my, course, my studies will be assessed through different assignments course works projects and written exams also why do you want to study at this university well there are a couple of reasons before choosing this industry because there are other options also but i found lsbu great in terms of education and also in the teaching excellency and their teaching method is exceptional because they uh, during my studies i have 30% of my studies are theoretical and 70% are uh, practical based studies and also it is ranked among the top 800 1000 universities ranking according to guardian universities ranking and there are they provide great facilities to international students also have strong international reputation as they have 33% of their students from internationally more than 130 countries and their facilities for business students like they gave access to the software softwares like bloomberg sage and fame these are the mostly wide tools that business and uh, Uh, industrial is used for real time data that how is the financial status of market so i think they gave the best student experience facilities and also a uh, quality of education that's why i have to the lsp what university campus will you be studying at i i have to study in south worth london campus did you research other universities well i have uh, also searched uh, the same course business management in other universities like middlesex university bradfordshire and also university of greenwich but at the end having a close look uh, into the course modules and affordability i found uh, lsbu the best among them because the lsbu business school ranked number 1 in terms of career prospects in london modern universities according to guardian league, league table 2019 and it is also affordable university gave me 1500 scholarship uh, so that's why i have chosen this university how much is your course tuition fee my course tuition fee is uh, 13400 why do you wish to study in the uk rather than in your home country well to be honestly there are certain reason for choosing uk because when you have to study you must have the quality of education to get to skills and knowledge of the relevant field i have uh, choose i have to choose uk for my higher studies because uk gave the quality education since many decades having back in roots from 12th and 13th century they are they are also uk is also ranked among the top most population uh, destinations for students and uh, they also provide the unique cultural diversity and that uh, open the horizons of students they, when they interact with the multicultural society they they have the abilities and uh, develop skills like critical thinking and uh, all the communication skills the basic reason to use uk is the quality of education and their acceptability of degree worldwide what are your post study plans well after completing my degree i i am planning to start my career in management business management field because when i have a foundation of knowledge then i have to execute and uh, in practical way i i have plans to move forward back in, in pakistan and started my career in pakistan with one of the renowned multinational companies like nestle coca cola and local industries like master tiles and i have a career prospects and opportunities in a, a range of different uh, business areas like management marketing but i personally want to enter into the management field where i have uh, uh, job opportunities like business operation manager and business development officer client relation officer these are the my post study plans thank you where you will be staying in the uk 
Well, for my accommodation purposes, I have said a lot about my accommodation on uh, private uh, rental rooms on country.com, rightmove.com. But I found the university accommodation, one of the best, their David Bomber house uh, is the one of the best uh, accommodation that I have found than others. It is situated in uh, Barrow High Street and it costs me, uh, costs me a single standard room about 169 pounds per week. So it's a just five minute walk from my university. So that's why I have going to David Bomber University accommodation. Who is financing your study in the UK? My father will be sponsoring me during my studies in UK. What is the profession of your financial sponsor? My father is a businessman and landlord also running his own poultry farm business and uh, having uh, 40 acre agriculture land and the commercial property also on rental basis. So is this a loan or a grant for your studies? Grant, not the loan. So you are not required to pay back basically to sponsors? Sorry? You are not, you are not required to pay back the, uh, the tuition fee to your sponsors. Is that correct? Yes, I, I am dependent on my parents. So that's why I have no need to return payment to my sponsor. Do you know this studies? Yeah, thank you. Do you know how much your accommodation will cost in the UK? Well, my living cost in UK is £1,334 one and uh, when you talk about uh, accommodation, it costs me about uh, £600 to £700 uh, hundred per month. Do you know whether you are entitled to work in the UK during your study? Sorry? Do you know whether you are entitled to work in the UK during your study? Yes, by law, I have I am entitled to study at uh, twenty hours per week during my study. So, how reliant are you on being able to work when you are in the UK? To be honestly, I don't uh, think about work in UK because I have uh, to focus on my studies. That is the my sole. Uh, uh, purpose for going to UK and I also have enough money in my bank account that my father gave me for my study purposes so I don't have any intentions to have work purpose thank you very much that's all I have to ask from yourself is there any questions for me no thank you So my first question from yourself is, uh, can you confirm your name and date of birth, please? My name is Tamanna and my date of birth is 20 July 1998. What course and modules you are going to study? I have applied for Master of Science in Computer Science. Um, MSc Computer Science is a conversion course that provides brief and broad introduction to computer science. I have six modules and one individual master project. My six modules are as software development, software analysis and design, database development and design, web application development, artificial intelligence fundamental, and research method and project management. So why you have chosen this course? Uh, sir, I have completed my graduation course in the year 2018 from Kurukshetra University. After that, I am working as a software tester in a company. My responsibilities in my company are testing a software, detecting errors in them, briefly check the data provided by clients. So basically all these are well related to my modules, which will I study in my upcoming course. And it will easy for me to understand my course and pursue my career in this field. So um, it is also beneficial for me and it will enhance my employability skill and it will outshine my career in IT industry. Whatever I learn in this course will help me to stand out whenever I look for my first professional role. So it will help me to work with top international companies of India. And why do you want to study at this university? 
Birmingham City University offers so many opportunities for trans transversing life and set up a business. Choosing a master degree course in Birmingham City University is a big investment in my future. BCU spent three hundred forty millions for their campuses, buildings, facilities like laboratories. BCU also offers one thousand pound of scholarship for the students who are eligible for entry requirement of meet and beat scholarship. Earn while you learn is also a a big opportunity at BCU where you can gain knowledge and valuable experience. I have also searched other universities, but uh, which universities I have considered? The ranking of those universities are too low than BCU. Right. So my next question is is uh, exactly the same. So what other university have you considered? Sir, I have considered other university like Leeds Art University and Buxton University. But after researching this university, I found that the ranking of this university are too low than BCU. And the fees for a post-graduation course in this field in this university are too low, too high, sir. Sorry. Right. So, where you will be studying? What campus? So, I have chosen Birmingham City Centre campus uh, because my master degree course is taught under the Faculty of Computing Engineering and the Built Environment, and this faculty is part of City Centre campus. Why do you wish to study in the UK rather than your home country? India is perhaps one of the most populated country in all over the world, but even after having second biggest platform for e-learning, it is still lags behind other nations like UK, USA, and Canada. There are many reasons for this. The main reason is lack of practical knowledge. As I am interested in computing skills, so anyone cannot learn computer through technologies and through books. Spending time on a computer is required to enhance skills, but uh, practical skills are not imparted in India. Other reasons are like lack of staff and faculty, lack of hospitality, and lack of global recognition. UK has a multicultural atmosphere, and there is an opportunity for me to study with the different kinds of students who come from all across the world. I can know their tradition, cultures, and customs from them. UK education system also provides world top class education, as the top world ranking universities are located in UK. Also, the duration of master degree courses in UK are shorter as compared to any other country, so it will automatically save my tuition fees and cost of living. Thank you very much. Uh, what course uh, did you last study? So I completed my graduation bachelor of science in non-medical stream uh, in year two thousand eighteen from Kurukshetra University, and I have studied three basic subjects in this course: physics, chemistry, and maths. So, did you had a break from your previous study going to the masters? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I have a work experience uh, between these masters, uh, between these master, a uh, master degree and graduation degree. After completion of my graduation, I got a job as a software tester in a company in India, and I am currently working at this job. So, what is your plan after completion of this course? After the completion of my study, I will explore my skills in global market. I will acquire skills of cognitive skills, practical skills, and leadership, making strategies, different kinds of skill. Whatever I learn in this course will help me to stand out whenever I look for my first professional role. So, after completion of this study, I want to work with top multinational companies of India that are Hyperlink, Infosys, Wipro, and Tata Consultancy Service. I can work on a post of software engineer, software developer, IT consultant manager. Thank you very much. Uh, how much you anticipate earning post completion of your study? Am I expecting uh, earnings are nearly ten to twelve lakhs per annum in India? Right. Where where you will be staying uh, during your study in the UK? I have searched two to three accommodation that are Kennel Side, Bentley House, and RQ Budrick House. Do you have any family and friends in the UK? No, sir. I have no family and friends in the UK. And how much will your accommodation cost? Uh, it will nearly one twenty eight to one forty pound per week. It will depend on which uh, accommodation I choose, but I will finalize my accommodation after getting my visa. And how far is your university from your accommodation? Which I named uh, Kennel Side, Bentley House, and Ark Budrick House. All these are nearly two point one nine to three point two four miles away from my city centre campus. So, uh, how will you travel from the accommodation to the university? So these are nearly ten minutes away from my city centre campus, so I can easily go to the university by walk. Right. So my next question is uh, financial. So how are you financially supporting your studies in the UK? Um, my husband is sponsoring my study. So are you dependent on your husband 
is he going to come with yourself as as a dependent or yes we are discussing it sir uh, as uk will be a complete new country for me so for my initial settlements he is accompanying me but he also has businesses in india after few months he will return back to india do you have any family members in the uk no sir i have no family members in the uk okay that's all from my end is there any question for me sir i want suggestions on my interview my skills and what should i prepare more So my first question is can you confirm your name and date of birth please uh, my name is md ashikur rahman my date of birth is 23rd of july 1999 what course and modules you are going to study uh, my course is msc computer science with project management and there are total 9 modules in this program so modules are project management leading and uh, managing organization re resources um, uh, personal uh, personal professional uh, developments uh, distributed uh, and uh, parallel computing technologies uh, int intelligent system and uh, data mining <coughs> data mining then uh, networking system and uh, administration uh, research uh, methodologies and project management uh, msc projects in computer science and developing independent re research and these are the nine modules i will study in this program Thank you very much. Uh, why did you choose this course? Well, uh, I have done my undergraduate in major of uh, computer science and engineering, so um, I want to elaborate my knowledge in this field. So this is the extension version of my bachelor's major. So uh, this course uh, has a great demand in the industry. So studying this course uh, um, will boost my salary packages and designation. So I am passionate to I'm um, passionate to explore about these topics in a great length. Sir. Thank you. Uh, how long does your course last? Uh, my course will last for uh, two years. Is there any placement as part of the course? Uh, no, sir. There is no placement. Uh, one year for um, uh, theoretical and one year for a project project work. Right. How is your yes, course assessed? Uh, sorry, sir. How is your course assessed? Is it based on assignment, exam, presentation? Or how uh, how uh, will that be assessed? Yes, sir. There, uh, there will be a presentation, and uh, uh, there will be a presentation and some written exam and project. Project will be there will be some mini project in this uh, program. So, why do you want to study at this university? Uh, well, University of Bedfordshire is the, one of the best universities in the UK. So there are several number of reasons I uh, <coughs> I choose this university. Uh, first of my course module in this um, university are perfect. What was I looking for actually? And secondly, the job opportunities. Uh, uh, there is one survey on the university website uh, where I saw, where I saw ninety one to ninety five percent. Uh, students are getting job uh, all over the world from from this university after their um, graduation. So another reason is uh, tuition fee. Uh, tuition fees uh, of this university is uh, quite affordable. Uh, next reason is uh, is the location. The university uh, located in the center of the city. Uh, due to that, uh, all the facility uh, available near to the campus, um, such as like uh, medical, food, and grocery market. So uh, the uh, next reason and final reason is the um, university ranking. Um, this university ranked uh, uh, eight hundred and one in the world uh, global globally and uh, um, one hundred and eighteen in, in the UK. So these are the reason I have choose Bedfordshire University. Thank you very much. Uh, what university campus will you be studying at? Um, sorry, sir, and get sir. What campus you will be studying at? Yeah, sir. I'll uh, yeah yeah. Uh, I will uh, I will study in the University Square uh, University Square campus in Luton. Did you research any other universities? 
Yeah, I have done a lot of research about other universities too, such as um, Birmingham City University and London South Bank University and other some universities. But I didn't find the um, course module what I was looking for uh, at those universities, um, and I I felt that um, location of this uh, of this uh, campus um, uh, is better than other universities. And uh, one more thing is um, tuition fees of this university is. Uh, lower than the other universities. So that's why I choose um, you know, Bradford University. How much is your course tuition fee? My uh, cost for tuition fees is uh, uh, 15,500 uh, pounds. Uh, uh, I'll get 1,000 international labor. So it will be 14,500 for me. Why do you wish to study in the UK rather than in your home country? Uh, well, there are also a uh, uh, number of reasons uh, because um, there are only few uh, university providing masters in computer science um, in my country, and the module of the of, of the, those universities are quite um, backdated. And uh, another reason is uh, lab facilities in my country is very poor, so. Um, uh, on the other hand, uh, 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 the quality and uh, standard of UK studies are great. Um, UK is well known for their quality education uh, system. Uh, you know, the value of UK degree is well known. Uh, UK degree is well known all over the world. So studying UK will open up more opportunities for me in terms of um, both research and job prospect. Um, moreover, um, UK is well, well known for welcoming various cultural people from all over the world. So what are your post-study plans? Um, as soon as I finish my graduation, I plan to return to my home country. You know, my family is my first um, priority, so I want to spend the rest of my life with my family. Uh, it's also uh, their wish to me to send, the, uh, send me to UK for higher studies and so it also encouraged me to go to go to the uk uh, you know whom is where um, the heart is uh, so i want to uh, i want to return to my home country when i become graduate in in my desired field with the best um, guidance from the uk so <laughs> education will where you will be staying in the uk um, yeah, I am planning to stay in the accommodation that I that is provided by the university, uh, which I have found impressively accommodated. University has its own accommodation near the campus. So once I get in the visa, I will book it through online application. Okay, so thank I, you very much. Yeah, who is financing your study in the UK? Uh, my father is financing the. Uh, Financing the my studying cost. What is the profession of your financial sponsor? Uh, my father is a yeah, gov government job job holder in Bangladesh, as well as uh, we have family business. My younger brother is looking those business, uh, and um, we have uh, fisheries in our village. Uh, two worker working there. So, uh, for, so my family has uh, like uh, five to six six lakhs on average monthly earning, and uh, yeah. Would Would you be able to pay your tuition fee in one full amount? Yes, sir. I can. Uh, I can pay the uh, full amount. Uh, Do you know how much your accommodation will cost in the UK? Yes, sir. Uh, I saw in the uh, I saw in the internet that uh, uh, per month UK UK government uh, selected that uh, uh, nine nine hundred and twenty three pound per month on a student uh, will will be the accommodation cost. Now that's your maintenance cost. Uh, that will include uh, your maintenance, including your travel, your food, your accommodation. Uh, do you know how much accommodation? I mean, you are looking for the uh, student yes, accommodation sir, is, in the university. Do you know how much that's going to cost you? Yeah, yeah, that, that is uh, around uh, twenty-five lakhs uh, in Bangladesh Taka. Do you know whether you are entitled to work in the UK during your study? 
Uh, yes, sir. I know uh, I can work uh, like uh, 20 hours uh, uh, in UK while, while I will study. But uh, I think I won't, uh, I won't work because um, my father is sponsoring me full amount. So uh, maybe I won't, I so, won't uh, work uh, while I will study. Thank you very much. Uh, my last question is, how reliant are you on being able to work when you are in the UK? Uh, sorry, sir, I didn't get you, sir. Will you, will you want to work in the UK whilst you're studying in the UK? Uh, no, sir, no, sir. I, I won't study because my father will sponsoring full uh, money. So I don't need to work uh, there for uh, staying there. Yeah, thank you very much. That's all I have to ask from yourself. Uh, is there any questions from myself? Yes, sir. Uh, I want the feedback. How was my interview?